What up, y'all? So, instead of doing all of these videos from their most recent back, I'm going to bounce around a bit. I'm going to do a new one, then I'm going to do an old, uh, an old one, starting with the first videos, just to make things a little bit more exciting. So, we're going to start with the kids. This was the first Hollywood Undead song. Um, this picture I haven't seen in a long time. Um, my room, or I had Tyler Shields, this photographer here, who took this picture, was living on my couch during a time, and, um, you know, was smart enough to take most of the original pictures of Hollywood Undead. Um, they're kind of the most iconic pictures that they ever did, this one being one of them. Um, Anyway, so the kids, so this is, I was, this is a long time ago, holy crap, so I was working, I was being apprenticed to do A&R by one of the top five A&R people um, on the planet, A&R people find bands for record labels, so um, I was being apprenticed at the time, and I had been in a bunch of bands, a bunch of like heavy metal bands and stuff growing up, and punk rock and stuff like that, so... I was doing a and r and I was hanging out with Jarrell uh, via Evan Thomas. And I was over at Jarrell's house one day. We were smoking cigarettes on the patio. And um, Jarrell and Aaron, I believe, had just graduated Full Sail Academy um, to uh, record music. And um, we were sitting on the patio, and I was talking, to, and we were talking about doing music. And I was like, basically, my whole thing was that Beastie Boys was petering out at that time. Um, now, you know, they're old guys. One of them died. You know, but anyway, they had a really good thing going, um, being like kind of white rock and roll rappers. And I saw that as being, you know, something missing. Um, now that they were fading away, and I was telling Jarrell and Aaron about this, I was like, you know, um, you know, we don't even need to make that great of music, and we really could rip off a lot of other bands. Um, so many bands, no, so many bands rip off each other's stuff. It's not even funny. You can take a part from a band that sounds familiar, sounds really good, and you could build a whole song around it. Um, so. We were talking about just kind of, uh, you know, starting this kind of white metal hip hop thing. Um, and basically, the next day, I came back to their house and this song, uh, they had been messing around, um, just, you know, not even with any real lyrics or anything like that, just kind of stuff off the top of my head. And it was funny because at this time, J Jarrell had started going out to the clubs with me. Um, I was a big club kid. Those dudes, uh, Hollywood and Dead, but they, were, they weren't really club kids. They were from, they're Scientologist kids from different parts of L.A. They weren't really hitting the Hollywood scene as hard as I was. So I was starting to take Jarrell out. And basically, <clears throat> a lot of the lyrics in this song um, Aaron just heard us talking about clubbing and the places I was going, the places I was DJing at, and um, the places uh, me and Jarrell were going to. So he, was, he just had some random lyrics that he had written down. Um, and this came out, and this was basically them being like, hey, look, you know, like what we talked about yesterday, we could probably do this. So we're going to get started here. <laughs> I haven't heard this forever, by the way. <laughs> Moscow was one of the clubs that, that was like my home club that we went to forever. Um, and, that, and that club ended up getting huge because of Hollywood and Dead. <laughs> try and decipher this shit for you. Oh my god, the old sidekick noises. Oh my god, sidekick 2. 
Oh boy, that's fucking funny. Beauty Bar was the place I DJ'd at. He didn't even know Jeffree Star at this point. We didn't do the song with him or anything like that. He's just throwing... Oh, by, way, by the way, if you want to know where this song came from... Oh, this song's so sick! Anyway... That's where this entire song came from. Just kind of tweaked it a little bit. This song was really big at the time, and this track, this CR track, is so sick. Ugh. This is like one of the sickest hip hop tracks of all time. So we knocked it off to make this song. Club word, club world, Moscow beat it 82. Those are all clubs that I went to. Um, I don't even think Jarrell had been to half of those clubs by the time we said that, but he's just, he's just a funny dude. <laughs> Shit alleys in, um, up in Silver Lake, uh, over by, uh, Aaron's old house. There's this alley behind, uh, some businesses. <laughs> isn't over oh boy that's funny that's old old inside jokes delete ricky tara's myspace account oh my god are we talking about getting profiles taken down off myspace did they do that back then And then this part is, um, what's the lady's name? Uh, what's her name? I DJed with this lady in Peaches. So I DJed with this chick in Japan, in Tokyo, when I was there. This is where he gets the... Anyway, that's where that came from. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, the song's pretty, this, the bass line's pretty sick in this song. I mean, Aaron did a pretty good job of changing that Sierra song up because he kept that kind of sick tempo or whatever it is that part and like he kept it and he turned it from like a squeak into a bass line and just it's genius I think we got big in Russia alone off of saying Moscow a couple times in this song we were huge in Russia <laughs> K. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Ashley K. She's a she's a dope uh, artist. If you need anything done, her cartoon work's sick. Hit her up. Ashley K. Woo. Ash show. Oh my god. Ooh, these are lordy. Old school shit. Yeah, so that's the story behind that shit. Uh, 
anyway, I'll keep making these. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.